The LinkedIn Podcast Network is sponsored by TIAA. TIAA makes you a retirement promise, a promise of a guaranteed retirement paycheck for life. Learn more at TIAA.org backslash promises pay off. LinkedIn presents. Every choice matters, from foregoing a plastic water bottle and voting to speaking up against a racist remark. Every choice is an opportunity to connect our power to our ethics. Ethics require using our power, seizing responsibility, and taking action. Hi, this is the Next Big Idea Daily. I'm your host, Michael Kavnet, and it's Thursday. Today, I want to talk about ethics. Now, ethics is one of those eat-your-vegetable words. It can sound a little abstract and judgmental. But in times like these, when there are few reliable moral authorities around, Susan Leoto argues that a strong sense of ethics is really practical. It provides the grounding we need to make good decisions in business and in life. Susan teaches ethics, advises corporations on ethics, and serves on the board of the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. And she's written a book called The Power of Ethics, How to Make Good Choices in a Complicated World. Here's Susan to share some of her big ideas. Some ethical failures are straight up unacceptable. Racism, sexual misconduct, and disregarding science-based advice about COVID-19 prevention, for example. But most ethical challenges today require navigating the gray, rather than just labeling options as right or wrong, ethical or unethical. Banishing binary questions like yes or no prompts us to ask instead, when and under what circumstances should we proceed? Rather than prohibiting or tolerating all gene editing, black or white, we should support scientists in determining the proper precautions and uses. One application of gene editing could be for cancer patients, when the benefits and risks warrant. One we should prevent at this stage is performing gene editing on human embryos that could permanently alter the human germline. Ethics are democratic. We all matter, and every choice you make matters. Power is no longer only concentrated in the hands of a few. It's more scattered than ever before. Anyone with a cell phone can tutor a child on another continent, run a political campaign, or verify the authenticity of medicines, or distribute false information and incite widespread violence. Every choice matters, from foregoing a plastic water bottle and voting to speaking up against a racist remark. Every choice is an opportunity to connect our power to our ethics. We all can proactively choose ethics rather than passively let it happen or not happen. We all can make decisions to show future generations what we value and demand of our legacy, rather than submitting to whatever trajectory that morally questionable leaders, innovators, and rogue actors define. We all can seek and contribute to solutions and not just point out where others have fallen short. We each have a role in our society. No president or corporate behemoths can deliver or repair moral decline alone. Ethics require using our power, seizing responsibility, and taking action. Ethics are contagious. Do you ever wonder why we see the same headlines over and over again in the news? Sexual misconduct, corporate malfeasance, misuse of our data, political figures' chronic lies. Instead of learning from mistakes, problems increase in scope and seriousness. Recovery is a slow drip of mea culpas, new policies, and the occasional firing of a bad actor, but rarely a complete reset. These stories share a common challenge and solution, the contagion of unethical behavior, and the possibility to spread positive behavior. We focus on eradicating unwanted behavior, but we often leave what drove the spreading of the behavior to fester and spur further trouble. Consider the contagion we readily recognize in threats like diseases and viral disinformation campaigns. While we identify the physical symptoms and transmission of COVID-19, we have not sufficiently addressed the many drivers of contagion of the underlying ethics, such as false information, fear, skewed economic incentives, failed leadership, and impunity. While we know fake news can distort our choices, we have not yet addressed the contagion drivers such as the misuse of the internet, lack of user-friendly transparency, 
inadequate regulation, artificial intelligence, greed, and extremism. The contagion of our ethics is inextricably linked to the contagion of societal challenges. The hopeful news. Once we focus on identifying and dismantling these drivers and deploying them for good, our choices can have a lasting impact and stop the repetition of reading about the same problems in the headlines over and over. There is no such thing as ethics without truth. I saw a story of a 69-year-old Dutch man who urged a court to let him change his legal age because he felt, or identified as, 49. He even got his doctor to concur that his biological age was 49, despite being born 69 years prior. Thankfully, the court declined. Age is a fact, not a feeling or an opinion. This is not a question of whimsy or vanity. Factual accuracy is the scaffolding of our society and the foundation for human interaction and trust. Our decisions hinge on a truthful assessment of the relevant information. A simple example from this story, we grant privileges such as voting, drinking, driving, and marriage based on accurate age. Today's assault on truth, or compromised truth, topples social relationships and institutions, including democracy, and threatens ethics. Today's skewed truth becomes tomorrow's distorted memory and history. As I tell my students, we can do ethics in a world of wishful thinking or cherry-picked la-la land all we want. But reality, truth, will always come back to bite and have a real impact on real people. There's no such thing as alternatively factual ethics. Ethics can be the greatest systemic risk of our time or an unprecedented opportunity to commit to humanity. Not integrating ethics into our decisions is the most underestimated global risk we face. It is at the source of so many other risks, from climate change and financial system meltdowns to authoritarian regimes, increasing inequality, and abuse of our private data. Ethics bring unprecedented opportunity, though. I see ethical decision-making as perhaps the greatest human connector. It unites us in a common optimistic project of benefiting and protecting society and humanity, of checking in with ourselves, decision by decision, to ask how we can do better and improve our community and resilience, with responsibility but without blame, shame, or guilt, of continuing to probe what it means to be human in a technologically infused world, and to support one another toward a future we can build together. All right, well, if you could use a little support in trying to live ethically, order yourself a copy of Susan's book, The Power of Ethics. Also, check out our book summary for Catastrophe Ethics by Travis Reeder. It's really interesting, and you can find that in our Next Big Idea app, which is available in your app store. And come on back tomorrow when we'll wrap up the week with some big ideas from Passion Struck, 12 Powerful Principles to Unlock Your Purpose and Ignite Your Most Intentional Life by John Miles. Oh, and if you have a moment, could you leave us a rating or review? It helps others find the show, and we'd really appreciate it. I'm Michael Kavnat. See you tomorrow.